Hello again, it's video time and today is uh, this. This was sent to me uh, by a new uh, buddy of mine, Max Naylor. Nail, Naylor? Yeah. And what he sent me to build for him is an Espa. I've never done one of these, so this is going to be interesting. Uh, this is, uh, this is a worker version. I believe these are actually designed by Captain Slug. I could be wrong. I might check that. Sorry if I've got that wrong. Uh, what we got? Lots of screws. Lots of 3D printed bits. And uh, some stuff. Installation tool seems simple enough. I could say that uh, the English on the instructions isn't the best, but that would be really churlish of me because my written Chinese is non-existent. Yeah, okay. Assembly process one. Assembly process two, three, four, five. How am I going to do this? Okay, well the first bit looks like you're getting the grip and the back half, the stock. Okay, right, let's have a look and see what we got. Let's see what Max has sent me. Okay, that looks like the front. Ooh, lots of bits. That's obviously the plunger. Okay, with all this. What have we got? That's the plunger, that's the plunger tube. Elastic bungee cords. Uh, that looks like the sea release. Let's get all this out. Okay. Don't know what that is. This looks like the grip. Why is that like that? That's got to be wrong. I think. Where are the screws? Come on, Max. Print quality is pretty good on these. There's bits and pieces. Some ah, okay. Well, it looks like he's already done that. I think Max's problem is that uh, I found this a little difficult to put together. Okay. There's our pusher, there's our barrel, another rod, O-ring, that's got to be for the plunger. I hope all the screws are in here, I really do. going to do, uh, rather make you sit through it, is do an inventory of what all this stuff is, check all the screws, and then we'll get on with the build. I'll be right back. Okay, well, it looks like everything's here. Uh, we've got, I actually uh, have to say, the descriptions on here Sometimes don't match the descriptions on there, so I've used a lot of reference to the pictures on the front. 
Right, uh, assembly process one. Let's have a look. What do we need to do? Installation tools, yep. Okay. Connect the front and back part of the mat by means of two part two. Six times eight screws. Oh, that's good. It says two PT two point six times eight screws, two point six times eight, two point six times eight. Yeah, I'm gonna have to measure those. Oh, that's okay. So it looks like we screw. Yep, there's the hole. We screw that on there, and then I'm gonna put two more in there. Okay, put in the two threaded uh, rods. Uh, Max has already done this. This is the. Uh, Oh, there's a rod in there. That might be difficult, because that's where the trigger goes. I'm sure I can get that out. Okay. Uh, yeah. Right, so we're going to need that and that, and get everything else off the bench. Where's the box? Gonna do this. Uh, I'm gonna need the trigger. Do this bit by hand, but just uh, summarise the rest. Oh, need that as well. I'm gonna need those. That's that. The trigger. Who's that? The trigger. Put that bit there as well. Anyway, everything else we can clear off. Okay. Tools, 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 tools. We've got tools. Hopefully we know how to use them. Right, we want... Uh, I'm going to need a very, very uh, fine steel ruler here to measure these screws. Okay, and I'm going to need a magnetic tray. I do not want to be hunting for these bad boys all over the place. Put the O-rings and the plunger pad back in. Okay. Six times eight and apparently two of those things. So we've got one there, About the same size, yep, eight, eight millimeters. Fortunately, these are all the same dimension. No, that's too long. What's that? Is that eight? Yeah, that's eight. So one there, and one there. Okay. So that goes in there. Yep. Hopefully. Okay. Uh, da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Let's say this is the. No, it's not that screw. <sighs> OK. 
Okay, it would be nice. Two point six times eight. Well, that don't work. That ain't long enough. Uh, I can't put the screws in that way because that's in the way. It's got to be a longer screw. Let me have a look. Are there any longer screws in here? I think it's these. These are the only ones that are long enough. And that's why I like magnetic trays. I'm dubious about that. I'm dubious about that. Okay, well, we'll start off with these first. And then we can fiddle that about later. Well, those are the, those are the longest screws. Fit. Fit, fit, fit. There we go. Because this is 3D printed, I don't want to get to the state where I'm taking screws in and out. And I certainly don't want to over tighten anything. So if I put that in there. Mm, yeah. Let's have a look. Longest ones have got a 12. Do we need the 12s for anything? Do we need the 12s for anything? Uh, no. 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 Okay, well, I'm going to put these in. <laughs> Let's see if that helps. It's got to be those are the only ones that actually fit. Yeah, it's that one. Oh, where's the other one gone? One of the things I do like about worker stuff is that they generally give you more screws than you actually need. There's always some spares. Which is good. Yeah, that's the right one. Okay. Da, 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 da. Next step is to put in the rods. So, <clears throat> hex nut fits in there. These are all the same, so that will just screw in there. So far, so good. Right. That wasn't too hard, was it? Now we've got this. Put hand grip in on. Guard frame grip, fix it with screws. Yep. Put counterweight in plunger release. That's that. And secure it. All right. That's the sear. Secure it with two. KM3 times 10. KM3 times 10. 
What does that look like? Those are fat ones, fat screws. Oh dear. With a countersunk head. Countersunk head. That's a countersunk head. And that's a countersunk head. And those are 10mm. Okay. That doesn't look big enough. Okay. There we go. No. Well, it certainly ain't that one, is it? It's certainly not that. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to come back to that. I do know we've got to put the trigger in there. Uh, to do that, I've got to get this out. Yay, that was all right. Okay. So that looks like it fits in there. Yep, that fits in there. And a 21.5 millimeter iron shaft. Okay. I'm going to take some jiggling. Where's the hole? Aha! Right. This is fiddly. Go get this one right. Ooh -hoo -hoo. the right way up. Uh, okay, well that fits in there. So this, I'm going to take this screw out here so that I can actually hold this up to the light. And see what I'm doing. So that drops in now. Mm. I'm going to take this out as well because something's not meshing properly. up to the lights I should yep be able to get up a line of sight through that there triggers in right. <clears throat> let's push this in nice and firmly fix two size with two screws. It would be nice if they'd labelled these better. 2.6 times 6.
my shard. Is that supposed to go all the way through? And then you put a screw in each side to hold it in. Hmm. Good question. Yeah, I think you are. Now I'll stop that falling out. So far, I think this is a little fiddly, <clears throat> but then it is obviously a kit. Okay, trigger. Now, this part gets put in like that. Yeah. That's much better. I think, yeah, that was the wrong way up. Which is fun. Now, where? Am I going to get those other screws from? Let's get that out of the way. don't know how we're going to get uh, okay there's the trigger <sighs> in here where it is acted upon by the trigger but what do we hold it down with I don't know if there are actually these yeah I think it's those yeah that fits what does it Okay, uh, put the other one in there, see if that helps. I presume this is here for a reason. No, that's just going to fall straight out again. Hmm. Overly uh, happy with that, actually. Got to be one of those. They're the only ones. Everything else is just going to fall straight out. Kind of sunk screws. Oh, 
I think I may put uh, a different screw in there. I really do think I will. This hole is too loose. That's just falling straight out. And we can't have that on just one pivot. I'm going to get my box of screws out. Hate it when I do that. Right, let's see what we got that will fit in there and actually hold that thing properly. There you go. That is what I'm going to use on this. Now these are bolts, so. some thread lock on this if this works properly. Yeah. Flat-headed screwdriver, don't go away. as well. Okay, first glitch. One of the holes is too big. Anyway, that's the first part of the assembly done. I think, yep, first part of the assembly. And now we put two 16mm rods in here. That has got to go through all this, oh my lord. Okay, so that goes through there. This is fiddly. Through all these holes. And a 
apparently no, it only goes through one. Aha. Measure twice, cut once. Oh my lord, this is really apparently this has got to go through that hole, I don't know if you can see that, that hole there where my finger is, and will come out there. Yeah, good luck with that. Yep, that works. Apparently I tie a knot now. How tight is anybody's guess? Well, what I'm going to do... Is pull all these a little tight. Okay. Connect threaded rod with hand grip that has been installed well. Oh, there you go then. That's all right, isn't it? That... Did I go all the way down? Let's have a look at the main picture. Yeah, that does. That goes... All the way down like that. There you go. So I think that's right. What do you think, folks? Does that look right to you? Yep. Cool. We're doing well. We're cooking on gas. Assemble push release accessories well, as picture shows. Put in nether support plunger. Okay, It'll be another pause now while I try and figure out exactly what that means. Don't go anywhere. <sighs>